ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಸಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಿಗೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಲಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಪೋಸಲ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಬೈ ವಸಿಷ್ಟ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ Mithila get married to the four prins Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata and Shatrugna of Ayodhya belonging to Ekshwako dynasty and when the marriage preparations have been started on the day on which King Dasharatha distributed a cows in charity the great hero Yuthajit, the son of King Paikaya and the maternal uncle of Bharata also came to Janaka's capital. Seeing King Dasharatha, he made inquiries as to his welfare and said, O King, the Lord of Taikeya, Kyotaya, through affection sends tidings of his well-being to you and seeks to know if it be well with your friends. O great King, my father desired to see Prince Bharata and for this purpose i went to ayodhya there hearing that you had gone to mithila for your sons for their nuptials i came here in haste to see the son of my sister incidentally kaike the third wife of dasharatha was the prince from kekaya so this yudhajit was her brother who came to see bharata the son of his sister sister Kaikeyi. King Dasharatha thereupon duly honored his kinsman who spent the night happily in company with the princess. The following day rising early, King Dasharatha performing his customary devotions proceeded to the sacrificial pavilion escorted by the sages. At an auspicious hour in the presence of Sri Vasishtha, and other sages sri ramachandra and his brothers adorned with every ornament being present the preliminary ceremonies were performed then sri vasishta addressed king janaka saying o king king dasharatha was in a, has inaugurated the preliminary ceremonies he now awaits your pleasure the sacred rite is completed when host and guests come together we please therefore to perform the principal nuptial rites king janaka listened to the words of great soul vishwamitra and answered what god detains king dasharatha at the gate this is actually a form of a protocol that is being followed king dasharatha being a guest here he inaugurated all the preliminary ceremonies and he was waiting near the gate in fact he was waiting to come to the place where the marriage is supposed to happen so he sent out vasista to take get permission of king janaka to arrive at the spot and immediately in turn janaka says that king dasharatha can feel mithila as though it is his own kingdom and the palace of janaka as though it is his own palace and he is always welcome to move wherever he want without requiring the permission of king janaka the same thing he is responding to that request from vasista to enter in in a very friendly tone what god detains king dasharatha at the gate whose sanction does his royal majesty seek is that is 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 it is this not his house let the king enter o chief of sages my daughters in readiness stand at the altar bright as the clear flame i standing near await you all there is no need for delay let the king cause the ceremony to take place without further hindrance then king dasharatha having with his sons and the holy sages entered the marriage pavilion thereafter king janaka addressed sri vasista saying o virtuous sage 
with the other sages perform the wedding ceremony then shri vasishta ignited the sacrificial fire in the center of the pavilion shri vishwamitra and shri shatananda standing before him sprinkled the altar with perfume and decorated it with flowers then he set out the golden vessels and the sacred kusha grass filling many pots with incense and arranging them in the form of a conch shell dishes filled with parched corn and rice were placed there and darbha grass the grass spread out and sacred formulas being pronounced over them the holy rishis now lit let a fire pronouncing the vedic mantras and offered oblation into sita adorned with jewels took her seat by the sacred fire opposite shri ramachandra king janaka addressing the son of raghu said o rama from today my daughter sita will be your companion in virtue accept her o prince and take her hand in yours this fortunate princess faithful and tender will constantly attend to you following you like a shadow in loving obedience may you both be happy saying this king janaka sprinkled on them water purified by mantram then all the gods cried jai jai and divine music sounded while a shower of fall flowers fell from the skies as was sita joined in marriage to shri ramachandra then king janaka said to shri lakshmana o lakshmana come here peace be with you take in your hand the hand of my daughter urmila carry not will they not o prince having thus spoken janaka likewise addressed prince bharata saying o son of raghu accept the hand of princess mandavi and to the prince satrugna he said o great prince accept the hand of shrutakirti O princess of the house of Raghu be gentle and faithful to your wives as they will be to you receive them now let there be no delay thus instructed by king janaka the four princes taking the hands of four princesses as directed by the sage vasishta circumambulated the fire king janaka and the sages performing the rites as ordained by the sacred ordinance as the nuptial ceremony of four princes of the house of ragu with the four princesses terminated a rain of flowers fell on them from the sky divine music sounded nymphs danced and the celestial singers broke into peons of praise all these marvelous events mark the wedding of the sons of king dasharatha while the princes circumambulating the fire were united with their brides thereafter with their wives they returned to their apartments and king janaka with his relatives and friends with a joyful heart having taken part in the festivities also with you thus ended chapter 73 of balakanda in ramayana in which we have seen the glorious marriage of four brothers from ikshwaku dynasty of ayodhya being getting married to four princesses from the dynasty of janaka from the state of mithila the shri rama married give up married sita while lakshmana married urmila bharata married mandavi and shatrugna married shatakirti namaste sharada devi ashmira puramasini tvamaham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehi me bye